Okay, I got so many requests, so many people were asking and just emailing me and tweeting me and YouTubing me and Google Plus and me and Facebooking me in reference to this application that I showed off as in a previous video. Uh, well, you guys, you, you guys know me. I mean, you know, that's not really all that true. So <laughs> I just wanted to give it to you anyway. But here's the application right here. It's called Mac App Blocker. It's really cool. Um, you guys know that I like really simplistic applications, and I'm sure you do too. Um, so that's the reason why I want to show it off to you. So let's go ahead and launch the application real quick here. And uh, when we get into the application, you're going to see some awesome things um, that's going to do here and hopefully it doesn't show all my little passwords and all my stuff um, in reference to um, me having to blur a whole bunch of stuff out because I hate those videos don't you hate those videos where you got people got stuff blurred all over the place and it's like golly you know it makes you wanna look your eyes focus towards that direction more than anything but anywho um, maybe if I can get it open here one day soon I am on my slower machine, so you guys have to kind of bear with me. I'm doing some heavy lifting. We're exporting some other videos. My time machine wants to back up right now. And I have the ultimate mighty, mighty word running there. And, um, you know, how that goes. But anyway, I already have it running. That's why I can't get it open. Duh. Okay, so right up here, this little lock button right here. Um, is your gateway to getting to Mac app blocker here so I'm gonna put in my password and um, this password is really not all that extensive in reference to my regular passwords um, for the simple fact that I'm already inside the machine and it's not a big deal um, you know but um, when it comes to my global settings right here um, here's my applications that I'm using in reference to my little you know Mac app blocker or whatever um, you have to have the password to get in here and it's just one of them situations to where if you ever leave your Mac unattended your Starbucks you're at the library you know you're at work um, wherever you know what I'm saying and you just kind of want to just make sure that your stuff is protected or you let other people use your computer but they ain't got no business being up in your mail you know what I'm saying you can use Safari but I didn't ask you to go into my mail and read my stuff you know what I'm saying not that there's anything I'm trying to hide but you know just kind of keeping you from having a headache with all the emails that I get on a day-to-day -day basis as well <laughs> now actually I'm kidding I'm so blessed for every email I receive even the spam um but um anyway you know it's real simple um you can add applications here you know what i'm saying you can click this and you can add an application you can remove an application and kind of like if you see my tutorial with hazel um you can go over here to your preferences and you can add different little rules in reference to your passwords and your lockdown and you can say okay you know i want to you know exit you know block apps you know when I wake up from sleeping and it comes default like that so beware if your computer goes to sleep and you wake it back up everything that you had going on is going to be gone because this program is going to shut down everything for some security stuff whatever whatever so you can come back here and you play with your preferences it's usually one of the first things I do when I get a new application is I go straight to the preferences and see what's going on um, another cool thing about it is if um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and I'm going to open up my Twitter and I'm going to close this down for now and um, like I mentioned before I am on my slower machine so it may not move as quickly as we wanted to and sometime I may miss it but I'm gonna put in the wrong password on purpose um, and when I put the wrong password in what's going to happen here is it's going to take a picture of me you know and I'm not even sure if I'm going to show this picture here on the screen share because I need to shave and I look like a woolly mammoth um, but um, actually let me go back over here and you see my little red little you know lock my, my lock here turned red so I'm gonna go over here oh, I just got another picture taken um, and I'm gonna put in my password for the um, program and what it's gonna do is it's gonna show you right here on Twitter that you know here's a failed attempt and let me go ahead and pop this picture open here uh, so dark you can't see me anyway ha 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 but anyway um, right here you can see where I can see who tried to enter into my Twitter application 
and it took a password of them. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that right there, get rid of that right there. Um, but any application that you you know have, it's gonna show you how many attempts. It's gonna show you how many attempts a person tried. It's gonna take a picture of them with the camera. You know what I'm saying? So you know, um, if you guys are trying to hack into somebody's computer, here's a bit of advice. Um, cover up the camera first before you do it. You, you might get your picture taken. But anyway, um, this is um, Mac App Blocker. It's really cool. It's a neat little application. It's not free. Um, I will put the link below. I have no affiliate association to it whatsoever. It's just a great application. Um, if you want it, you're going to have to pay for it. And that's all it is to it. Um, check it out. Um, it just kind of keeps a little gateway on your applications. Um, I'm going to go back over here to my Twitter and I'm going to actually put in the correct password and when I hit enter there it's going to take you into the application um, tweet me website candy at just website candy you know just tweet me and um, you know let me know what you thought about it leave a comment below and um, talk to you guys later peace out